I understand it isn't a process that you get better. It's in the process that don't nobody know your name and five years later, you're one of the best in the world. Why? The process. I don't get up at three o'clock in the morning because I'm broke. Then why do you get up at three o'clock in the morning? Because I ain't finished yet. I feel good. You look great. I like you. This year, I dare you to block out the world. I dare you to focus only on your goals. I dare you to cut out every single thing in your life that doesn't support what you want to achieve. You have a chance every day of your life to decide who you're going to be. Are you going to be a winner or a loser? Are you going to continue to live like everyone else? Do what everyone else does? Go where everyone else goes and never go out of your comfort zone? Or are you going to decide that I'm going to become more? I'm going to see what I can become if I really push myself. I'm going to decide to stop eating like sh I'm going to get focused on my goals for the year. And I'm not going to let anybody get in the way of these things I want. You can decide to stop being average and ordinary. It only takes willpower and a full commitment to changing things for yourself. You can do it. In order to have unbelievable options and choices in your life in your pursuit of your dream, you must eliminate them. You must shrink your focus down to one thing, one business, one focus at one time and master it and get great at it for an extended period of time. The irony of life is that the more you shrink your options in pursuit of your dream, the more it will open them up in your life later. What are the things that are stealing your focus? Who are the people that are stealing your focus? You need to begin to eliminate these distractions. Get laser focused and obsessed on what you want. Be starving and hungry to get it. Be desperate to get it. The combination of desperation and hunger with laser focus over an extended period of time is the formula to be great at something. You've got to be ruthless about it. Be a savage about your dreams. If something isn't helping you grow, if it's not adding value to your journey, then it's dead weight. Drop it. That includes negative people, bad habits, time-wasting activities, all that sh You don't have time for it. Not this year. This year is about getting sh done, about making your dreams a f***ing reality. What's the immediate first massive action you're going to take? The very first step, it might be unplugging the TV, removing that app, throwing out the junk food, cutting out a certain person from your life. I don't know what it is, but whatever that thing is that's taking so much of your time and attention and is not improving your life, you got to get rid of it. So get your head in the game. Turn off the distractions, the social media, the endless scrolling, the binge watching. That shit's not going to get you anywhere in life. You've got to make sacrifices, put in the work, grind every day. It's time to become relentless. It's time to become unstoppable. Be the fucking savage you were born to be and go out there and take what's yours. You're going to have to lose something where you're trying to go. You might have to give up some friends. You might have to give up some opportunities. You might have to give up some stuff in order to go from good to great. You need to develop a single-minded obsession with your goals. Eat, sleep, breathe your dreams. Every action, every thought should be aligned with getting you closer to where you want to be. It's about discipline, about pushing yourself even when you don't feel like it. It's about waking up every day starving for success, ready to tackle whatever sh comes your way. And yeah, it's going to be hard. People will talk, sh they'll question you, they'll doubt you constantly. But guess what? That's their problem, not yours. Your job is to stay focused, keep your eyes on the prize. Remember, you're doing this for you not for their approval. You're building a life you can be proud of. A life where you don't have to answer to anyone but yourself. And everybody talks that talk. Everybody talks about going to the next level. Everybody talks about changing their lives in the new year. Everybody says that this year is their year to become better until it's time to actually do the work. And when it's time to do the work, nobody wants to do it. They don't want to pay that price. But let me tell you, the price you pay for working on your dreams when everyone else is having fun or slacking off and you're out there working hard, making moves on your goals. 
will pale in comparison to the price you'd pay if you decide to do what everyone else does. You got to be willing to pay that price of discipline up front and deal with that hard head on. It's going to suck. And that's what's going to make you great. Do those things that suck every single day of your life. That's how you become better. If you're going to get your goal, you might have to get up a little earlier. You might have to stay at work a little longer. You might have to do a little bit more than what everyone else is doing. Because those little bits of extra effort you put in is what will add up to be a monumental difference between where you've been and where you will be in the future. Enjoy and more success, more money, more happiness. And the only way you prove to yourself that you really want it is that you no longer hit the snooze button. You no longer lose focus when you're studying. You no longer take shortcuts. You're no longer playing games. You are willing to do whatever it takes and you won't stop at anything until you get it. One day you're gonna look back on your life and you're gonna wonder what if. What if you really had focused harder on your dream? What if you had really disciplined yourself to make those hard decisions you didn't want to make but knew you should? Right now, you have an opportunity to get rid of those what ifs. You have the chance right now to stay focused on those things that really matter in your life and make your dreams become your reality. I hate when people give 70% but they want the life of somebody that's giving all the things. I challenge you, your life is where it is because of the percentage that you give. You cannot bring a tree down by hitting it a thousand times. If you hit a tree a thousand times in a thousand different spots, the tree is not gonna fall. But if you hit a tree a thousand times in that same exact spot, she gonna come to the ground. Your problem is you did hit it a thousand times, but in a thousand different places. I need you to do me a huge favor, stop trying to be deep. I need you to do the exact same thing every single day for the next 10, 15, 20 years and watch that tree come down. And watch you go from zero to a multi-million dollar company to working with the top NBA teams doing commercials. Nothing's changed, guys. I'm doing the exact same thing I was doing 20 years ago. I just keep doing it. And your problem is you're not intentional and deliberate. You wake up on Monday and you might be strong, but by Wednesday, are you hearing what I'm telling you? You're not intentional and deliberate. You are hoping that the best is going to happen to you and the best never happens to you. You got to be intentional and deliberate, whether you're making money or not making money. You got to decide that you're going to do something and you got to do it every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday. The problem with some of you in this room, you're not intentional and deliberate. You're a good person that just hopes the good stuff is going to happen to you. You got to begin with the end in mind. So whatever your dream or your goal is, you got to wake up every day to it. You got to go to bed with it. You got to read stuff. The music you listen to, everything you do got to pour into that dream. I understand it is in a process that you get better. It's in the process that don't nobody know your name and five years later, you're one of the best in the world. Why? The process. I don't get up at three o'clock in the morning because I'm broke. Then why do you get up at three o'clock in the morning? Because I ain't finished yet. Get up. Act like you playing basketball. Act like you playing football. Compete. That's what bothers me. Many of y'all are not competing. I need effort. Compete. Act like you playing football. Go in that doggone classroom. Compete. Many of you have lost your competitive edge. Get your competitive edge back. I'm not against no other motivational speaker. I'm just competitive. You can be the person who learns a little bit, who does a little bit, and then who decides that this it really isn't for them. It moves on to something else and repeats that cycle over and over and over again. Or you can be the person who's committed. You can be the person who says, this is going to fucking work no matter what happens, no matter how frustrated I get, no matter how angry I get, I'm fucking doing this. I'm talking about concrete commitment. I'm talking about the commitment that says, I am going to stay true to what I said I would do long after the mood that I've set it in has left. Because I think we all know in this room, character's not something that we inherit. Character's something we gotta wake up every single day, we gotta fight and we gotta build it. I am not phenomenally skilled, but I'm phenomenally will. My IQ may never change, but my will changes every year. I get stronger and stronger and more determined. Why? Because it's in my DNA. I make the decisions every single day to be successful or to be a failure. We're not dealing with chance no more, baby. It's all choice. If you are not that talented, you can beat them with time. You can get to the spot before they get to the spot. Get your butt up and get there.
Sometimes you need to let loose, grab juice, get goose, tattoos, taboos, get screwed. Loosen up, buttercup, all those hate comments will never make you feel enough. We're all 